Hey there, everyone. So thank you so much for tuning into Cosmic Climate this week. I, um, before I jump into what's going on, I just want to let you guys know that I am still offering 25% off my in-person and distant readings. Um, and so that discount code is ASTRO111. And I'm also offering now the readings for Scorpio season. So with an emphasis on the Mercury retrograde coming up. And so that is, um, both of the, the booking links will be in the description of this video. And yeah, how'd you guys enjoy this full moon? It was pretty crazy for me. Um, I felt like I felt it all throughout the week and even a little bit afterwards. Um, but overall, it was definitely needed energy. There's been a lot of intense energy with the cardinal signs and cardinal houses. So any of you all that have placements um, in those houses, Pluto and Libra generation, definitely um, feeling a lot of pressure at this moment. Anyone who has like strong cardinal energy in their chart, I'm sure you are feeling the heat right now. So I wanna look at the transits for um, October, uh, 15th through October 20th and basically the big thing I want to look at or what's going on that's major I would say is Mercury um, is making the most aspects Mercury is going to go retrograde October 31st and so right now it, it's in its pre-shadow period which means that it's slowing down in order to go you know appear to be going backwards appear to go retrograde and so it's interesting, I feel like with Mercury and shadow and Scorpio, that's kind of like a theme that's coming up. It's like a lot of our shadow want, you know, it could be what you've been working on since the spring and summer with all those retrograde planets or just something new that you need to work on where it's like, it's not like new, but more so like a different, you know, kind of like karmic thing that's come through. Um, is really kind of on the forefront right now. And I tend to notice in my environment and just within my, my own experience is that when these planets are, are approaching their retrograde cycle or when they're shifting, making a major shift or aspect, I usually feel that before and after. And like when they're in that, you know, that shift then, or when they finally make that shift, I, I'm, I'm in it. And so right now with Mercury, a lot of things might be coming up in regard to communication, in regard to mutual resources, you know, power dynamics, wherever you're feeling disempowered, you might feel triggered in that to like really speak your truth, be very clear, you know, and the more you step into that, um, you know, that uncomfortable zone and the more you actually do what your gut is telling you to do, even though you feel kind of, you know, um, apprehensive about it, the more you do that, the easier it'll get down the road. And it's gonna be intense at first, but you know, we gotta let it go and just like really step into like the storm, unfortunately. And that's definitely Scorpio is walking into that darkness, walking to, into the shadow. And so while the, the moon was full during that cycle and in, in in right now at this point, there is um, some cardinal T-squares which pretty much, um, not to get into too much detail, but with this, the cardinal signs at this moment, while, while Pluto, Saturn, and the South Node are in Capricorn, and we have the North Node in um, Cancer, they are really putting a lot of pressure on the cardinal signs. Like I was saying, that cardinal energy. Cardinal energy doesn't really need any help. It's, it's in, by its own nature, it's activating and triggering. And so, and the point is really to get us to grow. It's that, that, evo, that point of like evolution where you, you face some kind of conflict or opposition. And so, which, you know, really guides us to make a change or to move in a different direction or like stand up for ourselves or whatever the case may be. And so if you have a lot, like I said, if you have a lot in Cancer, Capricorn, Aries or Libra, especially the Pluto and Libra generation, you're going to be feeling a lot of pressure right now to make a move in one way or another. In addition, there's a water trine happening, very loose trine involving Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. So that's involving Neptune, the North Node, Mercury, and Venus. And so during this time, we're already feeling triggered with this cardinal energy. There's going to be some emotional intensity within it, especially with Mercury slowing down to go retrograde. Um, so that's something to be aware of. 
this particular week, um, you know, a lot, most of the aspects are, are pretty positive. So there shouldn't be a lot of pressure on us this week per se. It's kind of just kind of feeling what, <laughs> like what we felt like coming out of that, that storm with, with the full moon in Aries and with whatever happened last week. Um, we're tending to, we're coming out of that now and there's a lot of, you know, any of the challenging aspects right now, this week are more so um, just some adjustments. It's like the universe is guiding us to make these like adjustments within ourselves and within our environment so that we can continue to um, evolve into that emotional self-reliance, that North Node, and really like knowing our values, knowing our boundaries, and being able to really stand our ground in that. And so with Jupiter making that um, sesky quadrant to Uranus, um, which Uranus is retrograde, we are being guided to really adjust our, our conscious beliefs, adjust maybe our path a little bit. You know, if you aren't really on that, that path where, you know, you kind of like veered off of your, your true path or your spiritual path, what's happening here is that you're going to feel some friction that's guiding you back to that path that you need to be on because you, you kind of um, took too much of a detour in a sense. And so Uranus, Uranus, its main intent is to liberate, to individuate, to like set us free. Um, and so Uranus comes in and really fractures any foundations, any um, beliefs in this particular case that aren't serving us, that aren't helping us to evolve into the, the strong emotional self-reliant or just self-reliant person in itself. Um, and so whenever Uranus has like these difficult aspects with, with a planet, it's going to really fracture the nature of, of, what, of, of what's going on in, in that area of life and the, the energy that that planet represents. And so the point here with Jupiter and Uranus making this, this connection um, during that, that fracturing process, what you want to do is kind of like step outside of the situation at, if possible and just be objective. And like, look at the bigger picture. Like, what can you learn from this? And this is really big. I pulled two cards today. One was the Eight of Wands, um, which Mercury and Sagittarius are both associated with this card. And so it really feels to me that um, this energy between Mercury and Sagittarius, both these planets have a lot of weight this week. And there will be some, some, some news or something coming in, some kind of information, maybe some aha moments and insights into that will help you pretty much break through whatever challenges that you, where you are in the moment. And so it's more so kind of letting go of and not overthinking it and, and just letting it come to you and really using your right brain and your left brain, like combining both. So it's like that whole brain nature. Um, and so that's something to be aware of. Also, I pulled the queen of discs. And so to me, that, that signifies like still putting in the work, making sure that you're putting in the work to help yourself. You know, it's with that, that queen, it, it's more of like that receptive energy It's definitely feminine energy. So it's like, standing in your truth, standing your ground, like being proud of your work, being able to speak up for yourself in a sense, um, and really just having this nurturing um, energy towards yourself and really honoring what your values are and honoring what you have to value because we still have the sun and Mars and Libra. And so there is, we're still um, you know, learning our role in society, how to integrate that, you know, with Mars, it's our conscious desires and our actions. With the sun, it's, it's more so about our creativity and actualizing, you know, our creative endeavors or, you know, our creative purpose. So it's that kind of that first step. So it's like, we're still working to integrate ourselves into these communities. And so just having compassion for yourself is really, really important. Um, yeah, so I feel good about that. I think that 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 um, kind of wraps up the energy of this week. If you guys have any comments, questions, definitely leave them below. Otherwise, I will be talking to you guys in the next one. Please take care. Love you guys.